Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> My name is Waddles. Welcome back to Raft, uh, the guide series specifically. I hope you're doing well today. I'm doing well. Uh, so, uh, where we left off is uh, basic tools. Now, uh, since last time I expanded my raft a little bit, I have a 3x3 three three raft, but I have no hook. I've been standing here, you know, catching up leaves and building materials for this episode. Today we're going to go into dealing with water and hunger. That's the focus, the only focus, but the hook. So, when your hook breaks, uh, you can craft another one, one plank and two plastic, pretty cheap. Uh, just pay attention to your resources and uh, make sure you keep one wood and one or two plastic excuse me ideally in your inventory at all times now last episode we made the spear the hammer the fishing rod and you know just talked about that stuff today we're going to actually use those things to get us going now over in the food menu we will find the things that we are focusing on today there's the empty cup, which we will need. I can actually craft that right now, so I will. Um, the simple grill, and then the simple purifier. The grill makes food, of course, and the purifier makes water. Now, I need to get a little more plastic and, um, you know, like resources in general before I make this, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep sitting on here and letting this thing float. The shark is circling around. It's nighttime right now. Nighttime doesn't really change anything. Everything is just dark looking. So just, yeah, continue to gather up resources. Maybe fish a little bit if you're good on resources because uh, the hunger, at least for me and the water, is starting to go down pretty considerably. So I'm definitely going to need to take care of those things soon. So let's start off with a simple purifier. That looks nice to me. Boom. We crafted it, and then when you go to place it, you'll see this. You have to put the thing in your hotbar to place it, by the way. Now, you can rotate it with R, as you can with everything, or you cannot. It's up to you. Uh, I recommend putting this thing towards the middle of your raft. The shark can, of course, bite at your raft and break things off if you're not paying uh, enough attention. And if that thing is sitting on that part of the raft, you're going to lose it because, of course, you would, right? So be smart. Put it in the middle or... Put it wherever and then surround it with more, um, you know, planks and parts of your raft just so it's safe. Now, eventually, you can also reinforce uh, your raft, but mm, there's no way in the world I can do that right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, uh, with this water bench here, we can make water. You will also need the cup to use this bench properly. So take the cup and fill it up with salt water. Don't drink the salt water. Put the salt water immediately in this purifier, place it, and then you're going to need to place a plank or two as well to fuel this thing. Then it's a waiting game. Eventually, this thing is going to finish, and the water, it's hard to see right now, but the water will move over to the pink cup. I'll show you in the morning. Oh, no, you don't. No, no, no. Get out of here. Uh-uh. Uh <laughs> that was a close one. Uh, definitely repair that right away. Here we go. Um... Uh, there we go. <laughs> so the water, when it's finished, will be over here in the pink cup. Like I said, it's a waiting game. Once the water is ready, though, you can fill your empty cup back up with more water. And then, of course, drink the water. Don't pour the water out. Um, that wouldn't be useful. So I recommend just continuing this process always. I usually make sure I have two planks on this thing just so I'm safe. And then I have a water in here. And if I don't have a water cooking, I have a water waiting. You cannot cook more water while you have a water waiting. You'll need to uh, take the water out if you want to even, you know, consider putting more water inside of there. Now, the other thing that we're building and working on today is... Uh, cooking. Now to make the cooking thing, these are the resources you'll need. I have all of that right now. I'll craft it in just a minute though, because barrel. Pay attention to the barrels, guys. Get all of the barrels that you can. Uh, but our grill. So here we go. Craft the simple grill. Now I still have that fish that we caught last episode, so I'm just going to go ahead and cook um, that fish. Now, again, just like I said with the water thing, um, you can rotate it and be smart about your placement. Put it towards the middle uh, for now. You can deconstruct these, by the way. If I deconstruct this grill, and it would be the same for the purifier, you get everything back, at least right now you do, which is really different for a survival game, and I like it. It makes me happy. But, uh, raw herring. So, we can place this right there on the grill, and then, just like with the purifier, place the planks in the bottom, and then wait. Eventually, this fish that I am trying to cook will be cooked, 
and then of course you can eat it when you eat it it is going to refill your hunger that's the basic of the food and water mechanic actually it's like really easy in this game and definitely manageable so long as you are paying attention to what's coming at you and picking up uh you know like leaves and barrels and all of that kind of good stuff and fishing regularly now i have water ready and my water is actually doing pretty well so usually i wouldn't be drinking that i'd be saving it but we'll go ahead and drink it now and then uh just get more water ready for next time the fish is still cooking but uh nope there we go now it is cooked so here we go uh, i clear out my hot bar spot and then i eat the fish and a little bit of my hunger is refilled and now again i'm gonna cook this next fish some fish that you will catch will be a little too big for this grill actually because it is the small grill so keep that in mind if you have a fish that seems like it's way too big for the the grill that's because it is and you'll need a different grill to cook that fish so there we go got another fish and now it's just a matter of me kind of sitting around and waiting uh, to stock up food and that type of thing while you're doing this i do recommend you know continue expanding your raft make it a little larger make it safe right for sure um make sure the things that these are touching are all safe so i definitely should have put that on the front but that's okay there really is quite a bit of multitasking going on in this game, but uh, once you get it down and you kind of figure out that multitasking, it's not that bad at all, and it is pretty easy to do because, you know, we are just, you know, fishing every once in a while and grabbing water and filling that up and everything like that. So long as your hunger and your, your water is above 50%, you're pretty good you're in good shape you don't really need to keep eating and and of course keep it all the way full uh, i i would only recommend doing that uh, if you are you know kind of just waiting around maybe you need more plastic or something or you need more leaves then then maybe go ahead and and you know make some some food or something but uh, so long as it's above 50%, you, you really should be good. And now there's one more thing that I want to talk about, and that is the small crop plot. You can grow food as well, um, and I'll show you that, but it, it's really, in my opinion, just not as good as fishing. Um, so there we go. We have a plot, and then I have potatoes that I got from barrels, if you remember. You can plant those and just, you know, let them grow, but you will need water so you'll have to you know cook up some water and then water your crops just like that so you know it's a multi-step process i don't know if it's really worth your time uh, if i'm being honest i like fishing it's just a little better but you can you can farm for sure and and do that and the way you're going to get your food is the barrels right now so if you don't have the food you know just just keep pulling in the barrels eventually you'll get a beet or a potato and uh, you can grow that and of course, you can also cook the potatoes like that just on the grill, like the fish and yeah. But uh, you will hear birds if you decide to go with this planting box and you'll need to get the birds away where they will eat your crops. Uh, I'm not sure of a great way to get the birds away other than running up to it and poking it with a stick until it flies away. <laughs> Honestly, that that's what I do, but I don't know if that is necessarily the best way to go about doing things but that's just about it for this episode of the raft guide series episode one will be on the end slide as well as the playlist uh, for this series there will be more raft guides so long as you guys want more raft guides drop a like and consider subscribing if you do want to see more of those guides my name is waddles thank you very much for watching if you have any questions throw them down below i will see you next time Goodbye, everybody.